that's a magical place for me. I don't know, somehow, as I told you, it's, it's, it's got the vibe that you always come and it's something happening. In so, hey, Patrick. Good to see you again. Uh, man. Good to see you. Welcome. Yeah, once in a while we meet. And yeah. It's always a pleasure. Well, Patrick and I were working together actually before Kuro and Joao joined. You and I, how many years ago was it? We were sailing together while I was on my F2 and you were yeah. on an early starboard. Yeah. And we were working together to develop the race board blade. I don't know, what, eight years ago or oh, more? It must be more. Must be more than eight. Yeah. I'm getting confused all these years, you know. <laughs> we don't meet very often, but we, we are in contact almost, Definitely. almost all the time. Yeah. So you were just about to tell me something about the race board blade and the LW. Yeah, there's one uh, very important thing you touched a little bit, but uh, I think it's really necessary to say that out loud, that uh, they, in performance, when it comes to wind rage, they overlap a lot, which is very, very important because most of the races, uh, you can't really predict how the wind uh, will go during the day. And very often we sail far away. And I know many people were always confused what, you know, should I take a light wind sail, should I take a strong wind sail? And they were always coming to me and, and asking me, how, how come you always make the right decision? I say, it's easy because, because there is no wrong decision with these sails. You have to be really blind to see it's 30 knots and you take a light wind one or, or it's five knots and you take the old wind one. But because they overlap so much, you could easily go even if the wind drops down with the all wind sail and do one or two races, maybe you will have to work a little harder because we are allowed to pump, but you still manage. And even with those few guys, which maybe made the light wind choice when the, or they had the chance to, to change the sails uh, before, just before the race, you can, you can keep up with them. But uh, of course, if you should do 12 races in a regatta over a week and you have to pump a little bit more than everybody else, it will show up in the results. Mm. But we have the light wind uh, version. And uh, again, when the wind picks up during the race, as you said, you know, you change the trim and that's, that's the beauty of the loft sails. And what I love about them is that uh, you really can make it work for you. Because with the race board, there is so many different ways of sailing, so many different boards that we use, so many different setups as it comes to the guys and what they used to and some go a little bit faster, not so much angle, some are from the lakes like me which we we want to use every gas to to get the maximum angle and try to find the shortest way from one one mark to another. So this really gives you something that you can play with and uh, and we have the trim systems both on the mast and on the boom and uh, for me it's really hard to go on one tack without touching one of those trims because I always want to feel the perfect balance and, uh, and then I can concentrate on the tactics, on the, on the opponents and everything else. So important is to have the right tool and this is the right tool. The last European race board championships you were participating, right? Yes, yes. It was in, where was it, sorry? In uh, Sopot, in Poland. In Poland. And you were on the podium. I was second, yes. I was surprised because, because of the COVID situation. We, A, we didn't have so much training, which maybe was in some way advantage towards the old, older guys like me, that we, we have the experience. We don't need so much practice to get, get the right feeling. But uh, at the same time, a little disadvantage because even though a race board is a relatively old class, uh, the equipment and the way of sailing is always evolving. You sometimes out of touch with the best guys in the world and you come to an event and you find out in certain conditions you, you're not in contact with them and they, you have a, you, you're not doing something right or they, they, they're doing something a little bit better. So I was not sure how it's going to go. We, we had that new uh, Proteus board that, uh, that was uh, first time on the market and, and on a proper uh, championship under pressure trying to trying to perform so so i was not sure you know how that is gonna go and it's a little bit like america's cup each person and each boat has a little different way of sailing and from a to b you can probably get in the same time but one this way and one the other way fast angle and all this so with the big fleets you have to also be able to adjust to the rest of the fleet and this is this is the this is the winning uh, formula of the sails that you can 
okay, I see that somebody is trying to push me up to wind, I can change the, the trim quickly, try to keep up with him, or, mm -hmm. or I decide to go lower and faster because I know this is not mm -hmm. the right uh, way to go. And, and these, these uh, cells give me that po possibility to, to do that. That was uh, in Sopat, that was last year? That was last year, yeah. And, and is that the only podium you've been on? Oh no, I, I think there have been quite a few more over the years. I, I, I don't know, I had a quite a long, uh, long uh, streak of uh, podiums in the World and European Championship over the years. I, my aim for a while, not anymore now with the family, was to get the podium in Europeans or Worlds uh, every year, if possible. And for a while it was working, but now with the family and not so much uh, not so much time spending on the water, or actually, I do spend a lot of time on the water, but sometimes more mm. in the coach boat uh, rather than uh, on the yeah. board. But uh, mm. yeah, it's really nice to to get back to racing, and I make many of the younger guys yeah. sad sometimes yeah. that yeah. They, they have all the power and mm. all the all the motivation. But well, I just would like to say that it's been a pleasure having you on the team, and I really appreciate your input over the years. Together with Kuro and Joao, I have to say that our team is extremely strong. Uh, we've been on podiums, worlds, and Europeans. I don't know. <laughs> Always. Always. So. <laughs> yeah, with, with teammates like that, it's easy. If it's not your day, it's definitely <laughs> Kuro's day or, or Joao's day. And, and they are the guys which, which yeah. they, most of the yeah. days, it's their day. So yeah. it's really... Well, we're going to keep the ball rolling. Uh, Joao, Kuro, and Patrick and I will continue to put everything we can into the race board designs for the future. Yeah, I, I, have, I have to say one more thing that I'm really honored to be in, in, with, with the team like that because uh, I come here once in a while and uh, it's really a positive energy that always comes out of that loft and, uh, and I know you coming out tired me means that everybody else will be tired when they see the design that you come up with and they, they will be putting, putting their head in, in their hands and thinking about how to beat that. So thank you for that, uh, Monty, and I, I'm pretty sure you know, the, the future is looking good.